<laughs> Small unmanned airplanes will take to the skies of Rwanda later this year, carrying boxes packed with life-saving medical supplies for airdrop to remote clinics. It's loaded already with the medicine. You put it in the payload bay, close the doors, lock them in place, and it's ready for delivery. The drones are manufactured by California-based Zipline. The vaccines are supplied by the Gavi Vaccine Alliance, and the project is supported by a grant from the UPS Foundation, the charitable arm of the global shipping giant. We do believe that supply chain, having an efficient and resilient supply chain saves lives. And so we've been actively engaged with organizations around the world, bringing relief when supply chains are inefficient and broken. The fixed wing drones can carry 1.5 kilograms of cargo and travel up to 120 kilometers. They fly on a predetermined route, and once they've delivered their package, they return to base. The idea behind the project is to make ordering medicine as easy as ordering a pizza. Once health workers make a request for blood or other supplies, workers at the delivery hub pack up the order in a padded box, place it into the drone's cargo hold, scan a code that tells it where to go, and the order is on its way. All at a fraction of what an airdrop by helicopter would be. And in addition to providing a vital service, the project will provide Zipline and UPS with data about the safety and reliability of drone delivery. That could be an important factor in a decision by the Federal Aviation Administration on whether to allow drones to deliver packages in the United States. I actually think that one of the best ways that we can work together with the FAA to help this technology take off in the U.S. is by operating in a country where we, where we can basically serve a very clear need and get tens of thousands of hours of safe flight data. Because I think if we can provide that to the FAA, that will actually accelerate the process and actually implement this kind of technology here in this country. Working with the Rwandan government, Zipline expects to be able to make as many as 150 deliveries a day. The service is scheduled to be launched in August. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.